Welcome to an Age of Sigmar Battle Report 2000 points of Iron Jaws with some new stuff to take on Brandon and the Carriage of Overlords with some Harbinger allies. Taking a look at the Iron Jaw list for today, we do have a Mega Boss on a Maw Crusher to lead the army with a Destroyer upgrade and Feastin' for a Mount trait. We also have an Orc Weird, a Knob, a Shaman. And the brand new Tusk Boss on Maw Grunter is my three leaders for today. Bears are playing Bloodtooth. We have three units of Gore Gruntus for battle line. We also got the new Maw Grunter Gouger here. We got a unit of Orc Brutes. A squad of Brute Rangers with Brute Crushes. And finally, the new Weird Brute Rekkas. That's 2,000 points of Iron Jaws. And once again, I am bringing the Karajan Overlords. Leading this force, I have my trusty Arcanaut Admiral, with the command trait Cunning Fleetmaster and the artifact of Master Wrought Armor. Alongside a Aetheric Navigator, a Code Rite, and the Grimhold Exile, Fiori, and his Flame Bearers. I've got an Arcanaut Company with a Company Captain and an Aether Flare Pistol. I've got two Arcanaut Frigates, both wielding the Heavy Sky Hooks because there's lots of monsters on the field today. I've got the Engine Riggers with Mizzen Masters. They're going to be using their default weapon profiles. And I've got a reinforced unit of Grunstock Thunderers with two Aether Cannons, two Aether Fumigators, and two Deck Sweepers. Fiori's Flame Bears include five Hearthguard Berserkers. 5 Aoric Hearthguard, and 10 Volkite Berserkers with Fire Steel Hand Axes, all with Carls. Our mission today will be a Nexus Collapse. There are six objectives on the table. Our deployment zones are like this. And we have a Deployed. I'm on this side of the table. Carriage on the other side. So I have my Ragers. No, wait, they have the names backwards already. Are they Wreckers and those are Ragers? Yes. Ah, Brandon maybe, knows my army better maybe, than me already. Maybe. Don't trust me. <laughs> then, <laughs> right, those are Rangers. My Rangers, my Rekkas, uh, my two new big piggies, and then my old Iron Jaw stuff. So objectives are, you know, boop, boop, and boop, 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 and boop. Uh, we have to play nine inches away from uh, other people's territory, so basically an 18 inch center in the circle that we can't be in. Uh, Brandon, anything special about your deployment? No, nothing really too fancy. So this is the Admiral's flagship here, and housed inside said flagship is the Admiral, the Code Right, and the Reinforced Thunders. Beside him we have the Engine Riggers. Inside the Secondary Frigate we have the Navigator and Arcanaut Company. And then just out in the front here we have Fiori and his Flame Bears with the, all the Berserkers. And this mission is simple. You uh, hold an objective, score one point, hold two objectives, score two points, hold more than your opponent for another one, plus your battle tactic for two more points. However, at the start of the battle round after the first, whoever has the least amount of points picks two objectives to collapse. Uh, every unit within six of a collapsing objective, I think it's six, right? Six or three? Yes. Um, you roll a die and a four plus take D3 mortal wounds, and then the objectives are removed from the table which will be interesting. If there's a tie, you roll off, you only remove one objective. We'll explain how that goes. And for those of you who've been watching uh, Brandon and I, my battle reports in the last few weeks, this is kind of a continuation of our Path to Glory, but don't worry, if you haven't watched any of those, it will be inconsequential. So I'll explain the differences you're gonna see in this battle report. One, uh, these are armies we've been building with up through Path to Glory, other than my new stuff that I added in with the glory points. And I also had allies in my list previously where I had uh, the Rabble Rousers, but I fired them because they suck, I hate them. <laughs> don't need to be in the list no more. <laughs> Uh, but otherwise, these are full lists. We did have casualties, so our units were down a few models, but we're gonna say narratively a bunch of time has passed and we're gonna put all our models back in our, our armies. So nobody's down, down strength. You wanna yeah. show off the new stuff on a proper battle report. We've uh, regrouped, uh, you know, the factions have had time to regroup and re-strengthen. That's where all these new forces came from. So if you have seen no previous Path to Glory um, it, or had never watched Path to Glory, it, will be, it won't matter. There are a few upgrades our units have. We'll explain them if they've popped up. So you might see a couple of bonuses yes. that wouldn't typically be in a battle report, uh, but it'll, I, I think it'll be inconsequential. We, Otherwise, this is a regular battle report. We have words about Path to Glory we'll get into in the post. That's here. something I want to talk about. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that in post, but... That's okay. It's still yeah, fun. It's okay. I enjoy it. Yeah. It just needs a little something. Anyways, uh, Brandon, you finished the point first. Who's going first? You got a lot of movement. I do. Ah. 
No matter what you do, it's going to be the wrong decision. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um... I need, to, I need to make some measurements here. Uh, uh, There's no right decision. <laughs> I will go. Well, here's the here's the here's here's, here's the thing what? for the audience and everybody at home. Oh, sorry, for the camera. I'm an idiot. So, um, well, hey, so am I. <laughs> so, do you want to get charged now, or do you want to move a little bit then get charged? Uh, I should probably move. I should probably now that we've seen our deployments. Uh, I think I should move because I have movement. I should use it. Right? All right, so carriage on turn one. We're going to look at this fancy dancy new uh, movement tray that uh, game, sorry, Games Workshop, mini wargaming sells. Uh, we thank them for letting them, us use the studio. Um, Shop.miniwargaming.com. They sell these. I painted mine, but you can buy these with all the dice. Uh, so I'm going to go up to three CP, and you're going to go up to two CP. Six. Six. <laughs> uh, so about, these will be you know, about around one, two, three, four, five, how many points you can score. We're going to go to turn one. And then I need to thank Games Workshop uh, for sending me this. Shiny piggies. And this. And them. What are they called again? And then, these are the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also got the Iron Jaw character uh, painted up and this other character painted up. Uh, my Iron Jaw is the, a couple of units of them as well that they will be done painted up real soon. I'm working on my own personal Iron Jaws list. I have to borrow the studio stuff anymore now. Uh, but yeah, thank you Games Workshop for sending them. Uh, we're going to play thank up you. some new... Uh, well, I guess battles. technically this as well, which we're using today. Yeah. Rain of the Brute. And uh, they also sent, you know what? I want to show you all of this. We got Trug and a bunch of trolls. I'm going to recreate the play style and feel of my old Beast of Chaos army with my brand new troll army. Bookmark this channel. I'll get them on a battle report as soon as I possibly can, which will be really soon. I love, I love these trolls. Hero phase. Hero phase. So, uh, battle tactic that I'm going to go with is stake a claim. You can pick this tactic if you control fewer objectives than your opponent, which I do. I only control this one. I'm actually just out of range of that one. So, if I control fewer than Steve, I can complete this tactic if I control more than him at the end of this turn. I control two, and he's I always control, control three. One, yeah. but I can get to three. No problem. Next, I'm going to do my heroic leadership on my admiral. Looking for a four plus. No. Um, I don't think I have anything to do other than leadership as well on the Maw Crusher. Nope. All right. I am going to read the winds with my Etheric Navigator. Sure. Looking for ones now. So rolling six dice with the Etheric Navigator. Every time he rolls a one, he can do mortal wounds to one of my units. Every time he rolls a six, one ship can move, right? One ship. Per six, so that means two ships can move an additional D6 inches. Yeah. I'm gonna just do my Andorian die roll. I add nothing to our pool. Why don't you roll D6 to see if you add one Andorian powery die magic thingy? Nobody gets one. Woo! Using up a couple of sixes, each ship is gonna move D3 plus three if they so choose. Do you wanna do any of them? Uh, this one I will definitely do. So it'd be D3 plus three inches. And if you move six, why don't you roll this one? Then we'll show people where they end up if yeah. they want to. So one, we have six and four right now, and then we'll show you if they do. Okay. So happy that uh, he rolled sixes, not ones. When he rolls ones, he picks one of my units within how many inches? Uh, visible sight. Visible sight. So the entire map. <laughs> they take D3 mortal wounds, and I get half movement. <laughs> it's so frustrating for my Gorg Hunters. If anyone has been watching this campaign, the one time I really wanted to roll a one, I can't roll a one. <laughs> Come on. And Brandon finished his movement. So first, the little uh, engine riggers are gonna jump over this objective. Yeah. Uh, that guy. I moved him back. Oh, gotcha. Uh, increased the gap of a charge. These guys shuffled to the left. I did move this ship, but then I just flew high. Spent a command point because. Done one. Might as well, anyways. Um, I don't want to run to that objective now. What's inside that one? This one is the Arcanaut Company and the Navigator. Ooh, do you want to kill the company? And the Navigator. And the Navigator. Okay, uh, I think this is the shooting. Where do you want to do the rootin' tootin' gun shooting? All right, the rootin' tootin' gun shooting. I only have two options. I have my heavy sky hooks on both my frigates. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the Admiral's one, and I'm going to shoot it into Senor Pig. The Tusk Boss. The tusk. It's only how many attacks is this? It's only two attacks. I'm not going to all out defense. Okay, there is some stipulations with the sky hook, just to remind you. If I wound you with the sky hook, he takes extra damage because he is a monster, right? Uh, 
We can double check. I'm going to assume he is. All right. You can double check. It's right here. It's open. He is a monster, yes. Okay, so if an attack is oh, yeah, he scored, is rampages. deals six damage. Okay. In addition, if you can't, if it's not slain, um, on a four plus, he's snagged, means he can't carry out a monstrous rampage. No! Angel. My turn again. All right, fine. But I can't I snag more than once. What are you hitting on? I think I have two, I only have one command point left. Uh, I'm gonna save it then. I'm hitting on fours. One hit. Can I reroll it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to spend a command point? Go all attack. Uh, what Threes are you doing? Wounds. Threes. Nice. Two rand on that. Takes my three up to a five up. No. How much damage? That's six damage. Gross. And then on a four plus, he might be snagged. He is not. He's not snagged. Down to eight. Nice, big hit. Big nice. hit. Nice. Okay. The second skyhook is going to go into his veteran gore grunters. Here. Yeah. Fours. Fours to hit. Love it. Nice. There's that roll. <sighs> is that it for you? That's all you have in range? Uh, I will triple check, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, you do score your battle tactic because you had less than me. Now you have more than me in objectives. Plus, you get two points for holding one or two, one and then two objectives. Yep. And then a third for more in the scenario, too, I believe. That's correct. So, yeah, you're going to get a five point turn. Woo! Which means I'm going to try to only score four points. Mm. So I can burn two objectives. Yeah. And maybe do more to wounds to you. I've been historically unable to do damage to these ships other than one battle report way back when. Um, we don't talk about that one. That's, uh, <laughs> that one was a rough one for Brandon. <laughs> Redacted. So we're going to Iron Jaws turn one. We'll reach the gate of command point. Boom. Uh, this is the Andorian roll now, so don't forget it. Nope. Yes, we each get one Primal Magic die. Yep. You know what? I don't like my battle tactic options. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick magical dominance. I'm gonna try to cast the spell and uh, have it not unbound. Um, I'm just gonna go with good old mystic shield because I don't wanna risk it. I'm gonna use two dice plus my primal magic. Uh, mystic shield, jeez. Good, th I almost chose um, my eight to cast personal spell Ooh. and I would have failed that. So I have it with a six total. Uh, you have a Primal Magic die too, so you're almost certainly going to deny this. I rolled really bad. I'm going to spend my Primal Magic. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, yeah, his, uh, he has a guy inside that ship, which is in range to unbind. in range, so I just need to be a six. Yeah. Dang. Whoa. All right, so I will not get two okay. points. I was hoping for a, um, a four-point turn, not a five-point turn. I did not want a five-point turn. However... I will have to accept a three-point turn instead. I was going to say, almost always whenever we're rolling to see who wins a tie, you almost always win. Yeah, well, you have to fight me, my army, my rules, and my dice. And whichever god I sold my soul to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to immediately spend a command point. Oh, wait, heroic actions. Yes. Um, let's do... Is this Finest Hour? Hmm. <sighs> Everybody's going in. Well, that Once is per hero. You know what? You're going to try to kill him anyway. So he's going to uh, find star next turn. Thoughts and thoughts. You know what? It's his finest hour. Hey. What about you? Uh... <laughs> oh, I guess I should have done that before I cast a spell because you could do like heroic. But it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to try and get a command point. Heroic leadership on the Admiral. Yes, hey. sir. All right. Now I'm going to spend a command point. For a mighty destroyers, and I'm gonna move some units. This unit and this unit's gonna move. And then, oh, sorry, he's gonna order it. Um, it's a movement in my command phase. And when he orders, a, when he orders, um, the issues in order is the right phrasing. He does the three units. Yeah. Uh, it might be himself, it might be these guys. I'm gonna just do some measurement. The yeah, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> these three units. And I'm also gonna order the wah, so I got plus one to charge. Which shows them like this. So first one, second one, and the third one. Now, um, I'm going to point out, these guys have a momentum a score of one right now. I'll explain how it works in a second. Uh, basically, the more their momentum score is, the faster they actually move and like the more powerful like the Tusk will actually get because the faster they're moving, they, just, they hurt more. So they only move nine right now with a momentum score of one. He has a mount trait of called Feastin'. He's a, it's going to allow him to move in the hero phase once per, once per game. And he's using it now. Boom, and that's my hero phase. What a... 
deadly here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fast. And now we're gonna move. Yeah. Well, I'll do it all off camera, and if Brandon wants to do any redeploys, we'll show you. I'll then. just cry off camera. Fine. That's fair. We're, we're going all in. <laughs> After I surge all on forward, the flagship here wants to redeploy. Don't want to get caught by a long bomb. Getting three inches of movement. Otherwise, I did surge on forward. Nothing advanced. So these guys here, uh, these two models, would they have a momentum score of one. They start the game with one. At the end of my turn, my momentum score drops by one every turn. Two minimum of one. When I advance, I add D3. When I charge, I add D3. You see here, like uh, some of the weapons actually get better by momentum score. So momentum score like six, they touch through like D3 plus three damage, extra rend on this weapon by uh, momentum score. And they can uh, charge after advancing with a momentum score, I think it was a four plus. Yeah, there it is, headlong charger. So I could have advanced right now, hoped for to get a three and a D3 to advance and charge. Didn't want to risk uh, not getting it because if I, if I didn't roll a D3, I wouldn't get a charge. Or sorry, I wouldn't roll, if I didn't roll a three plus on the D3. Yeah. Uh, shooting, I don't want to risk any shooting, even though I only have one right now. So it is time to charge. We will start off with this guy. Get plus one to this. Yeah, that's six. Shocker. <laughs> We're just going to go straight in. Okay. Actually, no, go that way a little bit. Brandon's not on a leash. Hell, I'm going to roll my momentum die. I feel like I'm going to survive. Roll to three. He'd be able to advance and charge. He has a momentum score currently of four. That will come into play for um, Monsters Rampages that are unique to him. I might do it, but we'll get there in a second after the Thunderers release some hell on me. All right, so total, I have four Aether Shot Rifles. Uh, I got four Aether Shot Rifles. The Gunnery Sergeant gets a double shot. And then the rest are two shots apiece. So we'll start with that and then we'll move on because it's a bunch of special weapons. Okay. So we are hitting on fours now, and yeah. Normally threes? Normally threes. Good start. Not bad. Very good start. <laughs> and then now we are wounding on, sorry, wounding on fours. One? One. Four of save against that. Make that one. And Next then gun. moving on to my double fumigators here. So it's D6 attacks for the fumigators. We don't lose the fumigators. Yes. Uh, D6 attacks, so let's see how many attacks we get. Or I guess I'll do, should I do it per one or? No, you can do them together. I'll do okay. one. So six, six total? Six attacks total. And they... Oh, that's why you moved him, to get in range. Yes. Oh, smart. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so the female <laughs> <laughs> automatically hits. I just have to roll to wounds. So a three up to wounds on six attacks. Five? I have Five. three dice. No rend. Three up. One, one wound, uh, two wounds. Okay. Taking them down to six. Okay, we got the... Then the deck sweeper. We got 10 attacks with the deck sweeper, hitting on fours. Ooh. Not a bad roll. Stop uh, it, Brandon. I want to use this guy right. one time. He's freshly painted, so I expect him to win. He's doing <laughs> Fours to wound. Jeez. One rend on that. Uh, so this is going to be four up save. Take one, one damage? Yeah, that's one damage. Uh, three more to do. Take two more damage. Tell me you're out of guns. Uh, two more shots. Oh, okay. This is the big one. This is the Aether Cannon. Uh, two attacks. Uh, fours to hit. Ooh. Two's to wound. Why is it two's to wound? Minus two rand on that. They both go through? Six damage. He's dead. Yes! Well, oh. thank you for joining the battle point where you wanted to see the new thing do new things, but Brandon did Brandon things. Guys, I've never rolled so well in my life. This is incredible. Now, because he made a charge, uh, I get to reroll all my charges for my Grundas. Hey. Oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> and I could have rolled to see if he was suppressed as well, which I don't think it would Shut be. Shut up, Brandon. <laughs> I don't think it. <laughs> Maybe it's what's left of his life. I don't think I want to go in there anymore. <laughs> Why? Uh, I can't do it again this turn. <laughs> He's so expensive. You killed almost 400 points of my army right there. Okay, well, let's uh, see what we do. We just send this guy in. Oh, the accountant. <laughs> Those guys are dead. <laughs> uh, plus one to that, he might have failed. Yeah, that five inch charge, he needed a six. Yeah, he's in. Oh, sorry, I'm just re rolling that. Let's declare a charge for these guys. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Uh, 
Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. We're going to stay outside of the three of... Uh... Oh, his momentum die. As a three, he's a momentum of four. Yeah, we got a bit of a problem here. This guy's not charging. Brand just told me about a rule. I forgot. <laughs> he's gonna stay where he was, because he's on this objective. So when he's yeah. engaging them, he uh, can't contest objectives. So I, within three of them. I read it as... Oh, we're gonna be able to pile into me. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter, you're able to pile into me. Yeah, because the wording is not objectives they're contesting it's just units cannot so monsters engaged with them can't contest objectives or do monsters rampages so we're also not going to see a special monsters rampage brandon yeah <laughs> i guess he'll do one he's gonna eviscerate them this stomp uh he'll, he adds three he has three to the stomp roll for his bulk four mortal wounds oh well, that's too dead <laughs> An eye for an eye. Uh-oh. We are in trouble. <laughs> These guys do mortal wounds on a two plus in the charge in. Two mortal wounds to... Wait, it might be a three plus. I'm gonna check that. Shoot. Sorry, it's two plus because of their weapon. Uh, so two mortal wounds on these guys. <clears throat> they do not have a ward save, so that's just one dead. In the fight, we're gonna start off over here with our... <laughs> boss, Gore, Hacka, and Choppa. Nine attacks, threes and threes. Four. Might as well. Okay. Because I killed a unit, I get to fight with something else. I'm going to pick the pigs. <laughs> how much was that? Minus one, sorry? Uh, minus one. Uh, two damage each. <laughs> Wait, how many hits, sorry? Four. Oh, yeah. Now you think you're going to survive. Maybe. Okay, five up. He did. Yeah. He only has two wounds. <laughs> All right, because I killed something with an iron jaw unit, I'm going to go pick another unit. It's going to be them right there. So and gonna I go. am going to use at the start of the combat phase. So I forgot to do. Uh, I'm gonna unleash Berserker Fury. So if any of them die during combat, they can fight before they're removed from play. Mm. They're gonna all out attack. Mm. No, they're not actually. Uh, he's gonna go first, and he's an all out attack. You're still your thing. Yeah. I realize he has some weapons that hit on fours, so I wanna go with that first and save the all out defense to the squad that hasn't fought yet. Okay. I'm gonna assume that. The so guys back this there. Guy, so the guys with the whip axes have a ward save because they're within range of him. It's a four up ward save. Oh, Jesus. These guys are five up. They have no other defenses. They don't have a ward save. But if you kill them, they get to fight before they're removed. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I was looking at my taxes for. I'm hitting on threes. So, yeah, sorry. He's not going to go first. I am going with them first. Mm -hmm. They're going first. They're all out attacking. And he'll be able to... I thought I need all out attack. I was gonna go fours to hit. Oh, okay. I hate fours to hit, but it's all threes to hit. Okay. Yeah, so pigs first, all out attack into the uh, regular dudes in front of them. Hitting on twos with their jagged gore hackers. Hey, all right, probably a couple hits. Nice. And threes to wound. These are minus two. Oh! <gasps> Those auto hit. No, 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 no. What? Real quick. Sixes. Um, I had a brain fart for a second. I forgot I did uh, find his tower on the guy you killed. Right. So I plus one all my saves. Yes. But the last weapon did six damage. I rolled threes, which I would have had four up saves. I rolled both of them were threes. So you were fine. You still killed them. Oh. Yeah. But still, I see you. Okay. Yeah. But close. Close. Really close. All right. Well, Brandon's getting his dice ready to roll for his saves. I went back and watched all the clips from my ma boss, my crusher boss. He did actually die, even with all the defense. Not all the defense, finest tower. Uh, um, how many? These are minus two. Oh, the other, I'm actually hit. Five up. And one dead. Four dead. Four dead. Okay, ignores their armor, and they have my, my feats. And feats on twos. Nice. Nice. And threes. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow. Uh, no rend on these, I believe. Okay. Yeah, no uh, right on these. Five Four, up. eight, nine. Nine? Total? Nine five ups? Sure brought some war chances in this list. That would have been deadly. Oh. Okay, uh, nine, five up. I save three. How three more die? Okay. And seven die, but they get to fight. They get to fight. So four going into him, and then the remaining three are going into the pigs. 
Four to my gouger. Oh yeah, three up to hit. Three to wound. Two? Two, no rends. Four up. He's good. Damn. And then into the little piggies. Okay. Threes. Threes. No uh, rest. four up. Take a wound. Okay. I didn't kill you, so you need to pick something now. The berserkers are gonna pile in. They're coming after my Ma Grunta Gougers, and I'm gonna all out defense. Okay. And if this, I get a six on the hit roll, it does two mortal wounds in addition to any damage. Looking for threes and sixes. No mortal wounds, feeling pretty good about that. Threes again to hit. The wound? Yep. Dang. Oh, jeez. That's the Brandon I said no. <laughs> no rend on these. Four up. How much damage? Uh, one damage. Brings him down to 11. I guess he's going to fight. Uh, I got no berserkers I can swing at, so I have to go after the, uh, what are they called? Oh, those are berserkers. These, <laughs> it's confusing, because these are Volkite berserkers. These are hearth guard berserkers. I have no Volkite I can swing at, I think. Yeah. I have two inch reach up a muddy tusk. I don't think you were within two. Those are Volkites? Yeah, but he's over two here. Inches? Oh, sorry. Check if he's within two for me. <laughs> Otherwise, everything's going after these. The tusks will go after the Volkites if I can. Yeah. Nah, I'll put them off of them. It's all good. Okay. So the Gouger, Choppa, and Axe. It's four attacks, threes and threes. We got two at minus one. Okay. Save. Six of save, all right. Yeah. One goes through for two damage. You're normal on fours. Four up ward. Hey. No damage. Woo. The mighty Tusks are going to be threes and threes. So two hits. One wound is minus three, so no save. And then I check my momentum score, which is currently four. So it does D3 plus two damage. Three damage total, you normal know, fours. No damage there. Nice. And then my trampling trotters, threes and threes. Okay, he did no damage. It's a good show, it's a good show for the uh, new stuff. Good show for the new stuff. Well, uh, how many models do you have on that objective? Definitely more than me, because they're all dead, right? These are dead guys. You probably so. still have more than three than, than me. <laughs> so I'm not controlling that one. Nope, I still got that one. I have two objectives for two points. I didn't even get three. Because this guy, even though he's on it, can't contest objectives because Brandon's a cheater. Um, excuse me. <laughs> so that is three, no, uh, three to five, five to three. More accurately, as we go into battle round two. However, uh, the start of the battle round. I gotta do battle shock. Oh, that's right. Because you wiped the floor with these guys. Not, uh, not, not those guys. Sorry, those these guys. guys. So I not lost. these guys here, but those guys there. <laughs> and you have no CP. So I think I have no CP. Pro, I'm almost certain you're just running, actually. I don't know why I wanted to attack them. Uh, yeah, because they have bravery seven. And how many did you lose? Eight. So if you roll a. Yeah, get them off my head. They're gone. Get out of here. You did well, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. About round two, we roll Fusion to go first. I will go. Why? It's going to be a green and yellow day. Um, I'm going to go up to two CP. You're going to go to three. And then because I, this is such a crippling move, I think, uh, because I have less points than Brandon, mm -hmm. I will choose two objectives. So I'll, I'll choose four. I'll make it easy. Really okay, easy. what would you choose? <laughs> Collapse. <laughs> I'm going to collapse this one and this one. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Done. Or this one. Um, they set up pitfalls. So that we're, you know, we're in Orklands right now. So they set up pitfalls thinking they'll stop the invaders. We're going to collapse this one. No. <laughs> and. <laughs> this one. Ah. Uh, that one. I think we're going to collapse. Huh. It is tricky the way we're kind of flayed out here. It's uh, interesting. A little tricky. I actually don't know. Um, that one. Okay. Okay, and now we have to roll a die for every model nearby. So the ship itself on a four plus, no. Nope. The Arconaut takes three mortal wounds. Arconaut Company. And then the Aeth Aethermatic Navigator. Nope, fine Ooh. over here. But this objective is no longer in the game. Gonzo. My pigs take 
two mortal wounds. You drop this guy down to two yep. for me. Uh, the guys with the guns take three mortal wounds, um, and everything else looks far enough away. They might have a ward save. No ward save. Interesting. So, sorry, that was three? Yep. For my battle tactic, I want to choose the Iron Jaw one where I have to finish the turn. I can only take this on turn one or turn two. And this is my last, this is the only time I can take it now. Yeah. I have to finish with all my models within 12 inches of your models. These two units are too slow. <laughs> Even with the automatic just run. Their weapons I, are too heavy. They can't yeah. get up there. <laughs> so we're going to do the one where, jeez. This is going to be very important to get all your my battle tactics. Because it's going to be harder to score moving forward as objectives are disappearing. Yes. So I have to make sure. So I want to do the one where I get uh, about the points for having all my models out of my deployment zone. Or more models out yes. than in. Yep. But that's going to be an easy one for me. I want to save that one. It's going to be bait and trap for sure. Fall back two units. Charge with two units. I like it. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense, but it's going to be points. And I have two units in combat and I have backups right nearby. Uh, is it time? You know what? Nuts to this. I'm going to go for the uh, double turn crippling battle report. Because everybody tells me this doesn't happen anymore. And to be fair, we haven't seen it happen yet. I'm just going to go finest hour and okay. just, go, just go ham. Go ham? Okay. Uh, finest hour, what do you want to do for yours? Well, I'm going to assume if you're going ham, you're going to go after this ship. Uh, show fair. <laughs> so the Admiral will, in return, make it his finest hour as well. And I'll fight just, back against I was mom. just baiting you out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to try to... Oh, pri uh, Primal Magic Dice. I'm not adding anything to us. You are not adding anything to us. I'm going to cast my 8 to cast plus 1 to wound spell. I got it! Oh, no. Is double 6 perils in this game? Or is that just 40k? Uh, I mean, old 40k. It's... Now you got to look it up. Yeah. Yes, no miscast on that. Only double 1. Or unmodified 2. Um, it's time to move. And I'll do it all off camera, and we'll show you where we end up. My first fallback brings my pig to here. At the end of my turn, last turn, I drop one momentum score, uh, which means I got a little bit slower, and I'm going to lose more this turn. I'm coming up. Redeploy. All right. Now, he can fly or no? Yeah. Mm, so I guess it is. I don't know how. I don't know how physically you fly, but a wizard did it. <laughs> oh. Five. Okay. Ba-boom. It's time for shooting. I actually might as well shoot. I'm going to gut bellowing or bursting innards. They're going to vomit onto the ship. Blech. Four attacks, uh, twos and threes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> one of mine's one into the ship. Just one? Just one. Uh, three up to four up. Yep. Takes one wound. Ooh. Got him. <gasps> Time to charge. We're going to send in these guys. Go, 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 brutes. Seven. Uh, this unit of pigs. I'm going to let charge next. Brandon shows a not only shell on the brutes. Huh. Seven. The Thunderers are going to unleash hell onto my Gorgruntas. And once per game. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the times you're going to see one of the yes, this is... half the glory upgrades come into yes. play. So typically wouldn't have this buff, but they will have the buff today. What's the buff yes. going to do? So the buff is the exact same one as the Admiral. The Admiral also has this ability, but he's... He's not going to use it yet. The Thunderers will use it on themselves. Oh, my goodness. So before Brandon explains this, I'm going to explain to everybody watching, it really doesn't matter that this is a Path of Glory upgrade because he could do this anyway. I could do this already. It's just they have the ability to do it to themselves. So it's to, instead of the Admiral ordering it to, them, to the unit, the units are ordered to themselves because so yeah. the, the Admiral will do it once per game. Yes. All that's going to happen is potentially you see this one more time during the game. Yes. Uh, and then, <laughs> so I can't use it twice in the same phase. Sure. So since we're in the charge phase. Yeah, because the Admiral can't order on their ship and then... Yeah, you can't yeah. do it on Sky Vessels is the main thing. So essentially they get uh, plus one to their rend until the end of that phase. So we're going to unleash Hell with a minus one to hit, but a plus one to rend. Scary. Who's first? All right. Uh, the Aether Shot Rifle. So this includes the Gunnery Sergeant and then three other guys. So we're hitting on fours now. There we go. That's a, a more typical Brandon rule. <laughs> but he had to kill a freshly painted model. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Four is the wound. Two? What's the rend? Uh, minus two rend now. Six up. How much damage? Uh, two, to two in total. Two in total. I'll just mark it here. Right, two casual, two wounds. Okay. Fumigators. Six hits. Six hits. 
Uh, they automatically hit, so we're wounding on threes. Oh, okay. Nice. Goes up to one red. Oh, geez. Uh, it's five. So five damage. Seven, seven damage I owe you. Okay. okay. What's the next gun? The next gun is ten attacks from the two deck sweepers. Hitting on fours now. Ooh, decent roll, decent roll. Good. Wounding on fours. <laughs> Two rents, so six of save. Are they one damage each? Yeah. And then you get the cannons. The two cannons. Hitting on fours. Goodness. Okay, thank you. Lucky you. That was lining up to wipe out the entire squad. <laughs> Two more potential charges. Him and him. I'll get this guy out of the way. Because we're going to re-roll it if we don't make it. Nine? I don't know. Yeah, he makes it. Uh, and then these three. Hmm. There we go. Boop. 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 Now, when they charge in, I guess one guy's not fully within an inch. They're going to two mortal wounds to you. Which? The ship? Uh, no, no, no. It's oh. the little guys in the ground. You're normal on fives. Or, sorry, fours. Two mortals? Two, two. Take one. No. Because. Hmm. I'm not confident with anything here, to be honest with you. Same. I want to kill a unit outright so I can go ahead and fight with something else, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm going to start off with the accountant, my the war accountant. boss on Maw Crusher. He's here, uh, finest hour. I'm going to all out attack. Oh, which means I can introduce a couple more units. Yep. Uh, all out attack these two units as well. Um. Not just rampage. I'm gonna. I guess we do that first. Because um, there, uh, I don't. I think he's far enough away that he is not affected by the special rule. <gasps> then again, I can put all my attacks into your character or something. Yeah. Ugh. We are gonna stomp. Ooh, how many wounds do the characters have? Should be six. Five and five? You no, know, I'm gonna stomp first and then I'll decide because if I don't roll, okay, I'm gonna get it. Uh, I had three to my stomp roll. Right. So if I can kill a character, I'm gonna do it. Six and five. <sighs> and I've been forgetting about his rule about command points. On a four up, I get extra one. I get one extra one. Um, your turn or my turn? Uh, every hero phase. Oh, okay, fair. Um, no, sorry, my hero phase. Ah, you don't get it then. Yeah, never mind. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> sorry, wrong rule. <laughs> I'm gonna stomp. I gotta put them. I feel if I put them on the thunderers, I can, I can maintain the momentum. So into the thunderers. Okay. Oh, that would have killed him. Oh. That would have killed him. <laughs> Six mortal wounds. He does have a ward save. Oh, so what was, might his, not have what was his ward save? Five up. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm right call. Okay. <laughs> right call. Six. Yep. Oof. This kills three of them. Yep. You have no monstrous rampages, right? Oh, I uh, can stomp and cry, but no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack him. Uh, all the attack, which I already did, and then we're gonna put everything in the Thunderers, so we can put them down. Okay. I don't think this is overkill, because they have a really good save right now. Yeah. I'm also gonna use my once per game destroyer. So my main weapon will be five damage with nine attacks. On the Thunderers? Yeah. Brandon has thought a lot, has all decided not to all out defense the Thunderers. Um, I have nine attacks that are doing five damage. If he all out defenses this, he's likely to take no damage. He could likely take no damage from all this, <laughs> even though these are five damage apiece. But then the Fists, with their Ren 2, are gonna put them back to a three up save, and they're three damage apiece with eight attacks. So I should get this squad, but you know, dice are dice. So my once per game, using my Destroyer Relic upgrade, yep. hitting on, um, I believe it's two. Yeah, hitting on twos. Nice. Uh, because we find this hour, we're wounding on twos. And there's four ones. Nice. So you're gonna have five saves at because uh, you didn't all defense three up. Three up. We did ten damage Ooh. with that. That's five more dead. And then the mighty fist and tail twos to hit. A couple of ones. Twos to wound for find this hour. We have five more at minus two, so four up save. 
Uh, the extra damage doesn't apply to this because it's the mount. Okay. Uh, so five, four up saves. Hey. Wow, three apiece. So that's another... Ooh, you have good. one wound left, which means I did not trigger. Come on, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I did it! Look at that. So if I did one more wound, this guy was four up save. Um, but he's going to run. Anyways. Wait, you have a... Th Three up save on your profile, right? Yes. Two save because of the ship. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. yeah, if one more went through, I'd be fighting right now with another one of my units. Yeah. So I see, I, I, in an ideal sense, like, they're still going to die because I... Do you know if you all have defense that you took no damage from those fists? <laughs> Hindsight is quite the thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you did the right thing. You, well, you did, not that you did the right thing. You did the thing where somehow it worked out where I'm not fighting again. So it's your pick. <laughs> I guess it kind of worked out. Oh, wait. I have to roll die for them, too. One guy made it in and did a mortal wound when they charged. Wasn't that, that was this, was it? Yep, you're right. Yeah, where are you? <laughs> I was paying attention, maybe. <laughs> All right, who's going to fight for you? Uh, the Grimhold Exile is piling into my brute. He's going to use his once per game. He's once per game, right? The once I'm per game. Okay. Uh, the last of the Lodge Fire ability. So I get to pick one enemy unit, and instead of piling in... Uh, Wait, so he's you, piled in. So sorry, you pile into one inch. Gotcha. And instead of piling in... Alright, one enemy with one inch, gotcha. One inch, and roll a dice equal to their wound characteristics of the enemy unit. And on a four up, they suffer, suffer a mortal wound. So they have 15 wounds, so you roll 15. What's the lore of this? What's he doing? So, um... How does it work? Alright, so in a desperate need of strength... Uh, you could paraphrase this, you know. I'm trying to. Oh. I'm just... <laughs> Bad. You, you did it perfectly off camera. Yeah. You did it. Where, you just left the camera. You just like walked away. <laughs> I'm summoning the power of the last lodge fire. So basically, he sits there and he slams his two rune hammers together to call upon, call upon the uh, volcanic fires. So he's going to slam a bunch of fire into me. So he's going to roll 15 dice every four plus as a mortal wound. Just going to make sure I have 15 here. So. <laughs> roll Brandon for me. Roll Brandon for me. Woo! There we go. Uh, you rolled average. That's not Brandon. You rolled above average. Brandon! Woo! He almost rolled Steve. You know why? It's because we switched sides. Eight wounds. Yeah, it's true. We switched sides. You're on my side of the room. <laughs> Three, six. Seven, eight. Um, do me a favor. Yep. Let's. I want to roll out his attacks. His this, regular attack? I want to know if he would have done better by rolling his attacks. Oh, so he gets five attacks. Okay. Hitting on threes. Three hits. Four hits. Wounding on threes. What's the rend? Two rends and two damage. Oh, okay, yeah, you would have done two damage to me. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You would have done six damage to me because I have a four up save, not a three up save. Yeah, it's a two damage. Yeah, so you, you, did, you did more wounds to me by slamming your hammers together. Okay, fair enough. Um, I my pick. Ideally going to want to use it against, like, the Ma Crusher because, like, 18 chances, but I could also roll, like, all yeah. ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, do the guys with the fire pikes have a ward save? These guys? Yeah. No. They're, no. I don't think I'm going to kill them, though. They're not that tanky. I'm going to pile in with my, my uh, brutes. Two of them can make it to the Grimhold Exile. One's going to go after this unit. All right, so we have one brute chopper. Sorry, no, one jagged gorehacker into your Grimhold Exile. Yep. He hits on twos because we did the all-out attack on multiple units. He wounds on threes. We have two at minus two into your Grimhold Exile. Okay, so that's six up. So three or two? Uh, two, just two. Two, so six up. And, and there's ward. And a four up ward save. There's one damage. And then there's one gore chopper into him. Uh, it will be threes to hit for the all attack. Oh, and threes to wound. It's be minus two. So six up again. And then two damage, and our mod fours. Takes one more. And then the boss choppa. This is where the all attack actually comes into play. Okay. Because the Eber plus one hit the character anyway. Uh, into the unit, because he couldn't even make it to the character. He'll be hitting on twos and threes. We have two at minus one into the berserkers. Okay, six up. These are two damage apiece. And a... Four up or six. One dies. Oh, one guy was wounded. All right, one dies and wound carries over somebody else. 
But I did not kill a thing, so... You did not. Your pick. Uh, the Hearth Guard Berserkers are going to pile in and fight. Yeah, whip you with their... All the attacks are going to one of the pigs. Yeah. Hitting on threes, but sixes do mortal wounds. Ah, oh, two mortal wounds. In addition, right? In addition. What's you wounding on? We're wounding on... Four? Any run? No run. Four up save. I take four wounds total. Yep. This guy. Uh, can you do me a favor? Could you measure if that guy is within four inches of the guy up front? Uh, no, four inches of your... Yeah. He is? Okay. So can you pile in that one the long way? way? No, he has to go straight in. Oh, I see. So basically he has to take... Yeah, so pile him that way so he can go straight forward. Like this? Yeah. There we go. Another game both fully fight. Okay. Stickers! Should be four times. Yeah. Uh, these guys were not. They had no buffs on them. No. And threes. Just a little too cocked. We have three at minus two. Okay, those go through. Any more wound or wards are at all? No wards. All right, three damage. I think we kill two of them. Yep. And then the pig's feet. Threes. And threes. We have a three more, no rend. Okay, slab up. Ooh, did one wound. Not bad. Ooh, your pick. All right, I guess I'll just go in with the pikes. Uh, They're going to swing back at me. Okay. There. Three attacks. Wounding on fours. Hitting on fours. Sorry, hitting on fours. Hit <laughs> first. <laughs> Sorry, that was threes. Oh, hitting on threes. That was for the shooting attack. Gotcha. Wounding on threes. Two wounds, any rend? One rend. Ah, oh, jeez. One damage each. Dead Day and dead. And the... Hey, 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 hey. And then I got these three. Yes. All under the Berserkers. On twos, because they got they were part of the everybody's all attack roll. And threes. We have seven at minus two. So seven ward saves, I believe. No, are they have four armor? They're five up. Oh, okay, so seven ward saves. Seven wards. Hold that one again. We kill we kill three of them because one was wounded. And the pig's feet. Twos. Oh man, these are fantastic rolls. Yeah. Threes. All right, give me six armor saves, no rend. <laughs> so five up. Cheese. And then ward save a four up. A five up, sorry? Uh, four up ward save. No, 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 you, you, made, you made one in the back. But they, they have five up save. There's no rend, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you made it. That was a four. Oh, it was a four. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was a five. No, I was hoping for that. For this. Just dead. Ugh. And now I get to pick something else to fight because I killed something off. Oh, wait. I'm done fighting. So you have all the guys inside the ship. Yes. Who's swinging first inside the frigate? Uh, The frigate itself. So oh, we fair. Got six boarding weapons. Wait a second. How much AP? How much? Never mind. I can't do anything anyway. I've already all attack. Never mind. Yeah. Carry on. I was going to say, um, the, the Thunders have an ability that if they all their attacks go into a single unit, they get suppressed, uh, and they have subtract when they hit. So even, was, even a melee? Yeah, so it's that unit suffers... Uh, I've already swung, so I don't think it was going to matter. Well, I don't think any wounds were going to matter, because a lot of it was mortal wounds, too, that got into these guys. So I'm, it's just something I forgot, because you know, I'm really good at forgetting stuff. Uh, so you're talking about those guys when they when they, they minus one to hit. Yeah. Yeah. So I get to be my brave here, right? I want you to roll the dice. How does it work? Uh, so each time this unit shoots, after all attacks have been resolved, if every model in this unit shot and targeted the same one, roll two d six. Add the number of wounds caused by those attacks that were allocated, that were not negated. If the score succeeds the enemy bravery, they're suppressed until the start of my next tier phase. Subtract one from hit rolls. Okay. You no, know we'll do it. We'll just re-roll it. We'll see. Because, no, 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 you, you did nine wounds on Bravery, not nine. You, no matter what you roll, I'm suppressed. Oh, okay. We're just going to go, instead of going back and check the clips, it'll be faster to re-roll everything. So, the Pig Iron Stickers would be hitting on fours. No wound. And then the Mount would also be hitting on fours. And did one wound, and you have uh, armor save. You failed. Didn't get so go put all the dead guys back. State of the game has been fixed. Woo! 
<laughs> Anyways, now we're going back to the Arcanite Company. I was going to put or, on the It's not the Arcanite Company, the, Arc the Frigate. The Frigate, friends. sorry. All right, sorry about that. We are uh, forced to hit on the Maw Crusher. Ooh. Forced to wound. Stop! Wow. Don't I have a three of saving instead. I'll take one wound, I'm down to 17. Yep, one damage. Three of save because I did fire this tower. Yeah. We'll use the last uh, surviving sergeant here. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with his gun button. Uh, he's going to smack you with his gun butt. Four up. Hey. Four up. Nope. No, but uh, he's resolved his attack. Uh, he, on a five plus, suffered mortal wounds. Oh, like a drill bill? Hey, yep. One mortal. One more? Okay. Down to 16? Um, we'll do... Cold Rage is going to smack me. Smack you with the Battle Tome itself. Three. And four. Nope. The Admiral, who is Finest Hour. He is going to... Smack back in a big way, fair enough. Uh, so, what's hitting on? I am going to all-out attack him. Sure. And, yeah. So he's going to be hitting on twos now, and wounding on ones, because of Finest Hour. Two hits. No ones here. What's the rend? Two rends. Make them both. Is that it? Is that all you can muster? <laughs> We're going to continue fixing this state of the game. This is how I was, and now they're uh, going to swing at me with all their models this time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yep. I'm just two fighting at me. Now I got four. Probably going to do less damage now. Uh, probably. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, no. It was up here. So, I yeah. So we have... Three. Hit three. All right, one miss. And threes. It's gonna be the exact same. It's you probably watch. gonna be the same. One rent. It is actually better for me. It's Dang. slightly better. Dang. Because this guy died, but this guy did not took, take a wound. Took no damage. Okay, well, that's good. I'll do my battle shocks first. I'm gonna spend my last CP to keep them in the fight. I don't want him running away from me. Smart. Uh, he's bravery six, and I lost two friends. Oh, they're good, and I am done with Battle Shock. You have a lot to do. All right, so I have three from Arcanaut Company that died. From the... From the Tremor. <laughs> the Tremors, <laughs> it's fair. Big they tremor. got them in the ship. So the Bravery is six. Oh, okay. So I just need Roll to me get... a six. Roll me a six. No, no you're fine. We're no good. damage there. Yeah, these guys are wiped out. They lost one guy. The they... Thunders are... They're dead. Yeah, they're gone. That's right. right. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. And in my turn, I did score my Battle Tactics. Sorry, I got... One more here. No, there's no way they can fail. Are you sure? Ah, uh, you gotta be at least seven for a dwarf. I'll wait for you to find it. Eight. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, we're go. good. Never mind. All right, so I have <laughs> uh, three points for objectives. So one, two, and more. And I get my battle tactic for five points in battle round two. And we'll take the lead. And if Brandon only scores three points, we roll off to see who blows up an objective. If he scores four points, I will once again blow up an objective. How could you? So I'm gonna go up a command point, my general's still alive. You're gonna go up a command point, your general's still alive. I forgot, they were plus one to wound from the spell he had cast on, but it uh, didn't really matter because they killed him. They wiped him. out. Yeah, they wiped it out, it's all yeah. good. Battle tactic for battle run two for you. All right, uh, third time's a charm. They don't know anything, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna pick Intimidate the Invaders. Uh, same one Steve picked, you picked. No, I was gonna pick up, you were gonna, I'm okay. saving mine. Gotcha. Okay, so I complete this battle tactic at the end of my turn. If there are more friendly units wholly outside of my territory than there are friendly units within. Yeah, all right, he's going to leave so, his territory, which I'm he's easily leave. able to do. So, moving on to hero stuff, uh, heroic leadership. Trying to get a bonus one on the Admiral here. Nope. Yes. No, no, that was the three. Uh, I'm going to do heroic leadership as well on my Grunta boss. I mean, my, 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 my war boss on Mock Russia. Nope. And Orion dice? Wait, this is the bottom of the round, right? Oh, yeah. So it won't yeah. matter. You go wait to the bottom of the round. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to read the wins. Oh, yeah. One unit to take some wounds. What's the range band? Vi uh, anything visible. Oh, crap. Uh, actually, no, that one actually... Yeah, it's 30-inch range band, so you have a few units, but he's going to choose these pigs here. They're going to take D3 mortal wounds. Yeah. One, and their movement is cut in half. Yes. Until I'm going to mark it so we don't forget it. I got mini wargaming. They built this. I'm going to have them b b make me a widget set so I can remember like spells and things. Really stuff like this now. really does help a lot. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, what do we got next? Is that it for Hero Phase? That is it for Hero Phase. As we go into movement, uh, first thing that's happen is this guy's gonna retreat. Uh, so I'm going to be using my once per battle ability. Without our ships, we are not. So at the start of any phase, once per battle, I can issue up to two commands to a sky uh, to a sky vessel instead of one. So he's going to issue his free one to this uh, frigate to retreat. Goodbye. And he's going to issue a fly high. Uh, and then fly high, like technically fly high, you're supposed to use at the end of the movement phase. But you did all, you did all now. But yeah, we'll do it so all we'll now. just finish off the movement. We'll show yeah, you where we'll everything finish ends off. up. The movement is semi done, but we're gonna go back. He's not done yet. Well, maybe he might be done. Uh, interesting play that happened up here, and Brandon's gonna have to make some decisions. So this guy fl flies onto this objective. He accounts for five mall, so he takes it. This guy flies over here, takes this objective. Uh, and then if he does ends his turn right now, I know he's got a bunch of shooting to do, but if he ends his turn right now, he gets two points for his battle tactic, and he has one, two objectives, which give him four points, which means. He takes the lead. So at the start of next next battle round, no matter who goes first, I get to burn two objectives and then maybe do more wounds with his stuff. However, if Brandon chooses to not get on one of these objectives, he will score only three points and then we tie and then we roll off and one of us burns one objective. However, if Brandon chooses not to score any of these objectives and just do his battle tactic, he will score Two points, I will be up by one, and he gets to burn two objectives, like maybe these two. Yeah. And then we roll out, well, after we roll through, he goes first, he might double turn me. So I'm gonna let Brandon spend forever off camera because I don't even know what I would do in this case. <laughs> so I'll let Brandon take uh, a bunch of time to figure out if he wants to tie me, get under my point score, or above my point score. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting scenario. All right, Brandon's gonna choose to tie me on points. So he's gonna go, instead of over there, way over here where I yep. can't do nothing, I can't, nothing, I can, even my double move can get to him. No. Uh, so he's gonna go here, clear off these pieces of my uh, <laughs> army, <laughs> and then they're staying in combat. So it's gonna take us, uh, at the end of the turn, Brandon's guaranteed to tie me on points. Yep. And then we're gonna go on to shooting. Shooting phase. She, I forgot at the end of my turn. Oh, To lower my momentum score. Okay. Uh, we got fire plates firing into my pig. What are you hitting on? Fours. Four? Are they more than one damage? Oh, three, never mind. No, no it's four. No. Uh, We're gonna survive this. So the sixes will also subtract movement on him. Not that I think it's gonna matter. Okay, fair. Uh, it subtracts it one inch. So Every that's, six. That's for reducing it by two inches. All right, so he's got a seven inch move. Yeah. Uh, wounding on threes. Woo! Five up save. Takes two wounds. Mark that he's a little bit slower. He's down to three. Uh, who's next with the guns? Uh, so this frigate over here, the flagship can only hit, well, These not two only. Units. It can only shoot its cannon. It's heavy sky cannon, or it's got a heavy sky hook, sorry. Fair. So anything within- Go for the pigs. Piggy piggies. Uh, any, all, any, any- uh, No command points left. Nothing, nothing to spend? All spent there, so four. One hit. Three. Ooh. And we're not within 12 inches of there, so moving on to the second ship here. We are going to, sh I believe we're in range of the Tusk Boss in the back there. This was spent already for the fly high. Yeah. That's why they, yeah. Oh, no. Gotcha. Not. Okay, they can't hit them. He's, too, he's just out of range. So I'm gonna use the Sky Hook on these guys. Mm hmm So fours again. Para hits. Ooh. Threes. Para wounds. Two rend. Both go through. D6 damage. Ooh, gross. For five damage? Five damage on them. It's gonna drop this guy down to one. So 12 inches range for the four carbine shots. Those I'm going to do into the ragers here. Three up. Three as well. Any rend? One rend. Six up. How much damage? Uh, two apiece. <sighs> okay. I got three wounds left. Uh, who's the leader? That's the leader. Hey, there is no leader. Yeah, That's clearly all, the leader model. They're all just elites. That's the one with the unique pose. 
It's uh, hard to explain, but yeah, that's yeah. Navigator, <laughs> navigator's gonna shoot. Navigator's next into the that guy. I gotta try and finish oh. off this pig. Two shots, threes, threes, one round. How much damage? One damage. Kills him. Sorry, no round, but still kills him. Yeah. Uh, and you have some the company inside there still? The company is within range of them and him. Yeah. Well, it's only nine inches. No, just just the, just the right. So the Arcanaut company inside the Arcanaut. Going after my Sweet. last rager. Six. The captain is using the Aether Flare pistol, so he gets one shot. So we'll resolve that one first. Uh, so it's hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> and a bunch of rifles. Yeah. Uh, pistols. pistols. Yeah. Uh, fours. Nice. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> Fours again. Doing? Any rend? Nope. Stop. Kill him. He's got one wound left. <laughs> That's going to take us to fighting and the Grimhold Exile. I'm going to save my CP because I need more pieces on the table over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. His fire rune hammers. He gets five attacks. Hitting on threes. Ah, two hits. Oof. Sorry, buddy. Dang. What are you wounding on? Threes. Two? Two rent. Uh, that goes through both of them. That's four damage. That's going to kill this guy. And then this guy. So we're the pig. Piggy. Ticka. Uh, threes and threes. Wait, my mice one hit still? No. Okay. Because um, he had a command phase. But I didn't do any damage. I didn't wound. Yeah, he's still minus one to hit. Uh, he's still minus one to hit. Okay, so the pigs, the feet both hit. Or two hits. Oh, it's the start of my next hero phase, so he shouldn't be one minus one to hit yeah, now. That's right. Three hits. You're right. You're right. Brain fart. Three wounds from the pig's feet. No. Ah, pig's feet. Oh, uh, no, Ren. All right. Five up. One damage. Nice. And then you need to fight back with those guys. All right. What do you got? Magma pipes. Pikes. Threes to hit. Please wound not well. Three to wound. Oh, Ooh, we're going to live. We're going to live. Any rend? Doesn't matter. One rend. One wound left. Oh, come on. I got this guy. This is fours and threes. Maybe we should all attack this. What's his bravery? He's seven, but I think I need his speed. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hard roll it. Right. Fours. Didn't matter. Good thing I didn't waste it. All right, he's done. And that's that. Cool. Uh, it's Battle Shock. He's Leadership 7. You're all done, right? Uh, Yeah, I didn't. Yep. All right, he's Leadership 7. He lost two friends. He is sticking around. Nice. He's Leadership 6. I'm gonna spend my command point yep. to keep him around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you killed two of them? Two of them, yeah. I'm not sure the bravery is, but it's, it'd be at least yeah, six, yeah. so they're good. <laughs> Okay. All right, could have been a whole lot worse. You're going to score one objective, plus your battle tactic, yep. for three points, Ooh. tying the game as we go into battle round three, and you might even double turn me now. Fingers crossed. Very important roll, battle round three. Who's going to go, who's deciding who's going first? Uh, you, I win ties. Oh, see, here's the thing, everybody. <laughs> Brandon and I just went to lunch. We talked about every possible scenario. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I think if I make Brandon, I think I want Brandon to go. And then he gets to, no, then we, then we, we don't even know. I pick yeah. who's going to go now. This was the tricky part. This was the kind of wrench and everything. It was just like, who cares who's going first? We don't even know what objectives are getting burnt yet because we have to decide who's going first or second. So this was the tricky thing because it's like your plan completely changes depending if you go first or second and what yep. objectives get burned. I and have I have to decide right now who's going and then we roll off the burn objective. Well, and we also noticed because we're tied and we're rolling to see who's burning what, we only burn one objective. Yeah, because if I the two, if I make you go, you're gonna probably burn this one, right? Or this one even? Because no, you can you can jump back onto this one. Yeah, but so can you. I mean, all your stuff is so mobile, like. So you probably end up burning this one. You know, you you know. I'm just talking to the camera. You don't have to answer, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think if I make Brandon go, he burns this one. But if I go, no, sorry, no, sorry, that's even wrong. If 
if I make Brandon go and then Brandon wins the roll off the burden objective, he burns that one. And if I have Brandon go and I win the roll off the burn the objective, I'm going to burn this one. So if I say, okay, Brandon, you go, I'm going to burn this one. Yeah. That's going to force you to come back over here. But if I, no, I control that one, so I wouldn't burn that one. And I control these three. So I would not, so I think you pretty much know I'm burning this one because I, I control yeah. these three. Yeah. So if, if I go, I burn that one. If you, uh, sorry, if I go now and you burn an objective, you're going to burn that one. <laughs> if I go now, but I burn an objective, it'll be that one. If I make Brandon go, he's still going to burn that one. But if I make Brandon go and I burn an objective, I still burn that one. And I can see a bunch of equations floating. I want, floating I, want the, above Steve's I want the option to get less points than you next turn to burn, a, you want to burn another one. I want to make you know, I've decided this. I want to make you go because I want to go last in the battle round to have way more power on deciding how to burn objectives and things. Burn it so, minutes. Brandon, you're going. You fool. Do you think I'm a fool for that? No, I'm not. Just okay. <laughs> uh, that was roll off to see who's burning the objective. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I burn this one? Do I want to burn that one? Which you you win. <laughs> okay. You know what? I already love this scenario. It's it's a really <laughs> funny scenario. Because if if I give you no reason to stay there, you're just gonna shuffle everything over here. The problem was we both have crazy mobile armies. Yes. We have super mobility. So any objective doesn't really matter. This one kind of makes the most sense to me to burn because you have it the most tied down. You have the yeah, most this, this one, bulk. This one, if you take this from me, you probably won the game. I don't think you're going to do that. Why? I'm just thinking I'm going to take that one. Burn. No, if you take... Oh, sorry. No, if you, sorry. Burn. If yeah. you leave this alive and take it from me, it means you won the game. It means you neutered me. So, so oh, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. you're going to do I that. What you're saying. That's why I figured you were burning that one. I think I'll burn that one because, yeah, th that exact reason. Okay. There's the most mm. amount of... Roll a die for him and a 4+, plus. he gets uh, hurt by the burning objective. He takes D3 mortal wounds. It's going to be 3. He's on a 13. And then they're on it, on a 4+. plus. Nope, on a 4+. plus. No, okay. Uh, this objective is no longer part of the game. And, Brandon, now you got to pick battle tactics. All right, what are we doing for battle tactics? Battle tactic, I am going to blast them to smithereens. Yeah. I'm going to pick this objective. There is in enemies within 12 inches. I have to make it so there's not enemies within 12 inches by the end of the turn. So that includes... I thought you were doing the flyover one. Oh. Actually, that one's easier. Let's do that one. Yeah, I guess they're both pretty viable, actually. Right. At this, before, it made more sense. But, so... Actually, no. So I am going to do the bombing one because I think that one's a little easier to get on a... Yeah. One so you can fly over... If, if he kills a model on an objective with a bombing run... With a bombing that's run. That's the battle tactic. Well, it just has to be a model. It doesn't have to be an objective. Oh, just be... Okay. Just I just got to kill him with a bombing run. Kill a unit, actually. Yeah. Uh, which should be very easy right there. Um, heroic action? I am going to use my code rights. Unique heroic action instead of my other ones. And I'll, I'm also going to roll to get, see if I get extra command points at the start of hero phase. Oh, with the uh, code rate? Yeah. So the code rate, if he's within six inches of a hero, which he is, because the Admiral's still alive. Two dice, four plus. That's two extra command points for me. Put you at four to my three. Yep. Don't worry, I'm better on three. Better on three. Okay. And the heroic action, what's it going to be? Yeah, so he has uh, an ability called I think you'll find. So instead of doing heroic leadership or whatever, I'm going to do his unique one. I'm going to roll a dice. On one, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, table! It's okay! So I got a five. On a four plus, I can pick a new footnote and or a new amendment to apply to my army until the end of the battle. I can't pick the same one that has already been picked, and I can replace them immediately. You know what you're picking? No. <laughs> While Brandon is trying to figure out what he's going to pick for his new footnote amendment, I'm going to do heroic recovery. Yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah, I got to be at least seven. I'm going to get three wounds back. Dang, dang, dang. 
That was all heroic-like as I recovered. All right, what's your footnote and whatever it's called? All right, so my new amendment that I'm going to take is always take what you're owed. At the start of my hero phase, I can pick one friendly Arcanaut Company unit, and until the start of the next hero phase, each model counts as two instead of one for contesting objectives. Good. The new footnote, which is a once-per-game ability, is no risk... Sorry, no reward without risk. Once per battle, when I do a charge, I can do a... With it in 18 inches and do 3d6 Ooh, instead. Ooh, okay. Now we gotta read the wins. Read the wins. <laughs> One ship can move, no mortal wounds. As, no, Brandon, it's probably good. Because you would have mortal wounded him to death. No, I could have hit him. No, you would have hit to him, and then Why you would have failed your battle tactic. <laughs> well, I could have done to him or him. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of things you could have done. I'm so glad you got no ones. I bet. Uh, do you want to move any ships? Uh, roll, roll the D3. Yeah, why not? One ship gets to move five inches. Cool. And then Brandon's going to move, and we'll show you where everything moves after that. <laughs> so first, this guy flies over, and... Hey, you're a little too close. Oh, sorry. And then flies back, because you couldn't get all the way past them. He's going to roll eight dice. Every four plus will do a mortal wound. Three mortal wounds. It's going to kill him out. And that'll be the battle tactic scored for That's the turn. my battle tactic. And then the free that was over here flew high, landed down over here. And these guys want to stay in the combat. I shoot. Shooting time. They're going to pump into my guy here. Pump. Uh, so I think it's one, two. Wait. Is he still? He's not slowed anymore, is he? Haha, -ha, take that. Neither is no, he. he's not. Haha, -ha, take that. And now hitting on threes. Fours. Fours. For the missile weapons. I feel like we should hit on threes. We got four hits. Is that threes to wound at least? Yeah, threes to wound. The sixes. Yeah, the sixes reduce my speed by one, so he's so down two by... inches again. Yeah, threes to wound. I don't yeah. think it's gonna matter. I think he's gonna die. Because you should. Yeah, I'm not gonna use your dice. My dice like to work for me. No, I died. You're good. Friggin' heavy skyhook into this guy here. I am going to all out defense him. Smart. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, what else do you have range on to shoot? Um, I have... So I'm going to have him order all of defense on him. Okay. And then also, uh, they're probably not here. Oh. I'm going to do some measuring. It's a oh. faction ability. I can try and negate that. Oh, sure. Forgot all about that. What? Uh, I believe it's a five up. Wait, is that your sub that's your allies. The allies get the sub faction ability? Let me check. No. That doesn't apply to him. So uh, if I use command abilities within how many inches of these guys? Uh, 12? 12 inches. On a five up. The command is not issued. Uh, so they're not in range, so he'll order it to him, to them. And um, do you have anything that could hit him with shooting? No. Then I'll hit these three units. He's out of range. Uh, so we're doing the sky hook on this guy. Yes, because he is just out of range. All right, so Frigate here is going to do the heavy sky hook on him. We're not going to all out attack. Uh, so that is fours. One hit. And then threes. Beautiful. I remember to spin my man point though. <laughs> yeah, do you want people yelling at you in the comments? So. <laughs> no, they will anyway. <laughs> uh, carbines are next. Uh, so everything else has to go, except for the navigator's pistol. Everything yeah, the short range. Yeah. Everything's into him. Okay, the carbines going into the lone grunta. Threes. One more piece off the table if you can. Oh. Mm. Threes. How much damage? Two. It's down to three. Okay. Next to Navigator. Navigator's gonna shoot into this other unit here. Um, threes. Nice. Threes. One man. How much damage? One damage. Got him. And then the Arcanaut Company's gonna go next. Where are they going after? They can only target... Oh, that guy? Here. So I'm going to do the Aether Flare Pistol for the captain. It's a three. And the rest. And then fours. And then fours. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no red. We're good. Okay. And then we got this ship. Okay, heavy... The tusk boss. 
Heavy Skyhook. Are you gonna get me? <sighs> I you wanna all attack? Yeah, four yeah I'm gonna all out attack. I might as well. Two attacks on threes. Two hits. Nice. Twos? Is that right? Is it twos? Three, uh, twos and threes. Two Ren, but I have all the defense on them, so it goes to a five up save. Not today, Brandon. Wow. Not a, today. That would have killed them. It actually would have killed them. Yeah, would have wiped <laughs> them out. Damage. All right, uh, the carbines, are they, is that within 12 or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. You're, you're just supposed to have a nine. Right, all right, sorry. So I moved the model for him. <laughs> uh, carbines are not what? Threes. Uh, sorry, twos. Nice. My goodness. Threes now. One rinse, it goes back to my four up save. Oops. One goes through, how much damage? Two damage. Down to nine. Anything else? Yep. You got the, the code rate is a 12 inch pistol. 12 inch. Three. Three. Any rinse? One rinse. Back to a four up. Nope, how much damage? One. Down to eight. <laughs> Boom. Going to charge now. 3d6 charge is the new footnote. Yeah. We're good. You want to engage the wreckers as well? Nope. Get the weird guys. Get the, get the weird guys. Come on. Okay, fine. Right. Oh! <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Oh, uh, maybe you should. I don't know. Because he counts as five, right? He counts as five. So you've already taken this objective from me. <laughs> yeah. You can pile it. Unless I pile it and get on it with that guy. You'll pile it next turn. It's fine. Uh, okay, who wants to fight first? Do you want to fight first here or oh, over there? My ramming. So when I charge, oh, yeah. I have ramming dice. So because I haven't been bracketed yet, I have eight. Oh, I guess I'm gonna do a monster's rampage. I'll, uh... Oh, yeah, because he didn't get snagged. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roar at you. Bark. Yeah, you can't use command points. Ooh. Uh, but this is you do your ram, your little ramming thing first. My little ramming thing. Little ramming. This thing. is yeah. I'm bigger than you. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's mostly the blue. How many dice you got to roll? I roll eight dice and looking for fours. Oh, did man. one one mortal. No! Yes. All right. We ain't going to fight you over here. This guy's not going to fight. Who's fighting first? Admiral. All right. I'm going to have issue uh, all the defense to him. Okay. And it'll hit uh, the him as well, I guess. Okay. Because multiple things can take it. Just in case that guy whiffs. Yeah. Or when he whiffs. Uh, what do you got first? Uh, I'm going to start with the Admiral swinging at that guy. Uh, I still have two. You have three command points. Three command I tried to mark one down from me. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll Oh, wait, no, that was free, wasn't it? The fly oh, high. Oh, the fly high was free. The charge. But the all out attack. Yes. Was the. Yes. One you spend it for to spend for you. Yeah. Do you want to do anything here? I'm going to do all out attack. Another okay. all out attack now in the fight the phase? Yep. What so, are you hitting on? Twos now. Two, two, and two. Two, two, and two? Hey, it helped. Two rend? Yep. Five up saves. I have to make them both or I'm dead. F. Hey. <laughs> Not today, Brent. No, he's dead. <laughs> so I guess I'll fight over there with that guy. Bring back with the brute. This brute. It's on fours. And threes. Give me two at minus two. Six up. Four damage. Ward save. This is Warriors, four or five. Four up. Four up. Oops. Takes one wound, he's down to three. And then he go and swing right back he's at me. He's swing back at this brute. Threes. Three hits. Threes again. Oh, okay, wait a second. What? Um, before I roll that, I have a rule I plus one hit because of the amount of wounds you have. So the other three I had hit. Okay. And it wound. Give me a save. It's two damage. You know I'm on fours. All right, no, no change. Okay. You did three to me. What's the rend? Two rend. Um, I have all the defense on, so I have a three up save. I made them all. So you're good. <laughs> we'll just stay there forever. Dang. <laughs> all right. Locked in a Mortal Kombat together. You control this. Yeah. That's one objective. That's two objectives. It's also more than me for three plus your battle tactic. You are scoring five points. As we go into my turn three, where my goal is to score 
four points. Just score nothing. You're and just then burn stay, two objectives. You're just going to stay still this whole time. <laughs> and pass. Go. <laughs> My ability this turn will be to lead into the maelstrom. Or battle tactic. I have to charge with a hero in one of my units. And at the end of the combat phase, I have to still be in engagement range with one of those units. Uh, it's going, I'm going to like charge this thing, but make sure I don't attack their ship. So that I'm, gu I'm guaranteeing that. And then I'm going to control this objective. So I'm going to get my four points. And I'm going to leave these two alone. So that's going to be my turn. Um, actions time? Yep. Okay. I guess we'll do heroic leadership on the Maw Crusher. Nope. Admiral. Yes, for you. I'm going to cast a spell. Or I'm going to do the plus one to wound nonsense. It's an eight to cast, and I got it. You might as well try to unbind it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Primal dice. dice. And then on your turn. All right, I'm going to add my primal dice to this casting roll. It's a five up, right? Uh, it's four up. To get it. Yeah, we both get one. Okay. So you can roll three dice to dispel this. Nope. Ooh, close. No. So you get plus one to wound by units being really close to him. I think only with an 18. And so do I have... you guys. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to spend my command point for Mighty Destroyers. So that he... And we'll say... <clears throat> they will uh, move. This is my hero phase moves. Now we're going on to my regular moves. Boo. He's just going to advance first. Perfect. I'd like to move off of that. They're not on the objective. I don't even... Where can I even move? Because I want... <laughs> I need to leave space. So if my ship gets destroyed, I have space to redeploy. Uh... Oh, we want to see this in combat, though. Ah... Uh... <sighs> I think that... I, no... I, 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 you know what I'll do? I won't advance them. No, 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 no. It's fine. No, no, the audience want to see them in combat. I was gonna use this to corral you, oh. but they're gonna want to see them in combat. So I just, I'll move. I'll just move. I won't advance. Right. I'll move. Get them ready for a charge. Well, they can run and charge in the same turn. So. Oh, they can run and charge. Yeah, that's fine. Back to where they were. <laughs> I completely forgot that. Um, there's no point. Be you actually have me in a really good uh, sandwich right now. Yes. Even if I can move down, but what does that do? It makes it slightly farther for him, but. Actually, yeah. He hasn't moved yet. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Wait. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Nice. Take it. Well, that is unfortunate. That roll was too high. Now, for this guy to engage him, I have to get on the objective. There's no way to get within an inch of him without getting on the objective because you rolled a six. Uh, if I get on this objective, I'm going to score one, two, three points, plus five of my battle tactic making it a tied game, and then we got a roll off. My goal here is to not tie the game. My goal is to burn a couple of objectives. Suffering from success. Suffering, well, you rolled a six. <laughs> you're, 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 you, you succeeded, not me. Uh, okay, I want to continue on my movements now. <laughs> change up the plan slightly. Yep. Which is forcing me to completely, completely change my tactics. Well, uh, let's see here. Who's gonna charge first? Pick oh, wisely. That guy. I'm gonna go five and engage them both, so no Overwatch. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna send everybody. Here comes the uh, the accountant himself. Yeah. We're what going. if he got double ones on them? That would've been a problem. <laughs> well, I had I had the, the shaman. Oh, That's right. another hero that could have charged. Right. These guys here. Oh, when he uh, rolls uh, his charge, he's gonna do a mortal wound. Uh, I'll do mortal wound to him. No, Is that to them. Just like a uh, two plus. It's my, like, I just gouge you with my horns and stuff. So they take a mortal wound. These two are going to go in here. Uh, we want to see the Wreckers in combat, though. But the king will just kill me. Really? Yeah. Maybe. Ah, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's you're going to shoot me. Your, your Overwatch. Will, nah, yeah, I'm not going to waste it. We can't see them in combat, guys. Sorry. We're going to send these two pigs in. Oh, that's a fail. We'll send in the Weezard. <laughs> Weezard's in. He's wheezing. <laughs> Boom. Guess who's fighting first? Um, uh, oh, wait. My Grimhold Exile. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? No. Uh, Monsters Rampages. Nope. I'm going to... You can't. Fire Slayers don't let you. 
That's fair. I don't want to. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna fight first and put everything in your Grimwald Exile. <laughs> we do. We want to make sure we get into three inches of all three of those models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Main orc weapons, uh, threes and threes. Give me six saves at minus one into the Grimhold. Six? Yep. Five up. Three go through? Uh, sorry, six damage total. Oh, he's dead. Uh, you have four up. He's out of range. No. He's gonna be within three inches. Oh, he's gonna be within three. Because you killed this last guy. Ah, gotcha. So it's within three inches of a unit with three or more models. All right, so because I killed somebody, you get to fight again. I'm gonna fight again with this guy, and I don't want him to kill. Like only one weapon is in range. Yeah. So he's going to fight. Okay. Um, because he has to. Yeah. But I'm not gonna pile in, so I don't have to use my one-inch range weapon. So just my stick on top. Uh, threes and threes. One at minus two. Uh, I think that automatically goes through on them. So Actually, yeah. I'm pretty sure it does. How much damage? Uh, one. And that's it, your pick. Who are you swinging at? The accountant, the accountant himself. Threes and threes. One How much red. One red. Two damage? Oh, one damage each? One damage each. Put me down to 14. I have charges with multiple things. Yep. I have uh, stayed in combat with at least one of them. Uh, I get my two point, two command, two victory points for my battle tactic. Plus, I have one objective for three. No wreck a fight, though. No wreck a fight. <laughs> so you are currently up by two points, which means I'm going to be burning two objectives. So the first thing we do here. Let's see who goes for. Oh, uh, you know what I may have done. What? Oh, battle shock. Uh, their bravery is eight. Eight. So, so you're there. good. I may have over. I may have overthought myself into a bad position. So, first of all, hey, let's roll off. She's going first. You win ties. You need a six. Uh, I'm taking a second double turn on you. I'm burning these two objectives. No. So the ship takes D3 mortal wounds for two. Two. Who's inside that one? The Arcanaut. The company. company and the navigator. The company don't take anything. The navigator takes two. That's right, that was two damage? Yeah. Down 13. And then this guy, the ship, takes D3 mortal wounds mm -hmm. for two. It's down to 12. Thank you. Uh, the admiral does not. Who else is in there? Code uh, raid? Code raid. He t the code raid takes two mortal wounds. And then this objective is gone. Ooh. I got two CP, you get three. Uh, My battle tactic this round, we're gonna go surround and destroy. We're gonna save that, uh, what's it called? Intimidate the invaders for the last battle round. So we're gonna do surround and destroy. I have to get three units wholly within uh, six inches of table edge, not in my territory. So they're gonna be on this one. They're gonna mighty destroyers and then auto event six. And he's gonna fall back into that corner. And I'll be, you'll be too far away to stop it with your five up nonsense, thankfully. Maybe. Uh, what do you want to do? Maybe. Maybe what do you want to do with your uh, actions? Uh, Krogue action, I mean. I'll just try and get a command point. Krogue leadership. No. Primal magic. No. Yes, you're adding one to our pool. Hey. And then I'm going to spend a command point. For mighty destroyer, <gasps> I might not be able to do this. Why? This whole plan might not work. Oh, you might have enough command points. No, I might not be able to. I have to switch my battle tactic. It has to be uh, intimidate the invaders. They are too close to those uh, berserkers over there. They're not able to mighty destroyers move. They, if I use mighty destroyers on them, they have to clear a charge. That's how close they are. Oh, I see. So okay. I'll save that one. I guess I have no choice but to do Mighty Destroyers. But other one to do is I can kill all the battle line in there. But I gotta wait for him to get a little closer. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do in Intimidate the Invaders. Uh, I might as well cast a spell. I don't know what I want. I think if I'm gonna kill all the guys inside there, the guy who's gonna do it is gonna be the king, or the Maw Crusher boss. <laughs> so I'm gonna cast Mystic Shield on him to make sure he stays alive. Oh, uh, here's the... 
My sick roll and the problem magic die. I got it. You stop it. Aha. And now we will move. Running, falling back, running, staying in combat. Uh, let's go ahead, our gut bursting innards. We're gonna scream at you. Well. All right, we're gonna fight you. Nice. <laughs> Main weapon on threes and threes. Three of them minus one. Six up. Uh, four damage. One wound left. The mount. There's two of them that missed. And now you're all dead. These are my two. Get them off my table. I have one objective, which is more than you. <gasps> so I get two points plus my battle tactic. It's four points. And that is my turn. We're each going to gain a command point. <clears throat> You gotta pick a battle tactic. Brandon is going lead in the maelstrom. One of his heroes and one of his battle is battle line, right? Yeah. And one of his battle lines have to charge into combat, and one of those has to be in melee range at the end of the fight phase. So the only ship that has the ability to do this is this, and since everything inside of a frigate gets the same movement as you declare, they all kind of get yeah. counting as a charge. Heroic recovery. We got it. Ooh. Give me three more. Give it back up to 17. No. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't killed the accountant today. I guess not. Not today, Brandon. Oops. And it's time to move. No, I have. Yeah, fine. Sorry. Roll two dice. You gain command points on a four plus. Hey. Two more command points for you. Nice. Uh, uh, and then you want to do your uh, read the wins? I still have to do heroic action. Oh, yeah. Um. Since you have denied me that, I'm gonna roll dice. I'm gonna do the special code right one to possibly get a new footnote. That's, he's over here. He's in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's that one. Yeah, sorry. Does he get a new footnote? So he got a two, so he's allowed to pick a new footnote and apply it immediately. Uh, so the last one I can pick is there's no trading with some people. Once per battle at the end of the enemy shooting phase, pick one friendly Skyfarer unit which the only one left is basically all my foot soldiers. Um, that was targeted by any shooting in that phase, that unit can shoot immediately. So Sorry. if I shoot at them, you can shoot back at me? I can shoot back, but... Keeps me from... Well, here's the thing, I have to... Oh, uh, true. One of my, one of my tactics left that I can do means kill all of them. So it means I'm not going to shoot at them. Yeah. Likely. <clears throat> maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> all right. Now, and now it's time to read the wins. Read some wins. Six dice. Six is mean he gets to move a ship. Ones do mortal wounds to me. In this case, I might actually take six, the six. extra move. Yeah. Well, you pick. get both. All right, pick two units, take mortal wounds, and be half movement. Uh, Crusher. And pig. And the belly piggy. All right, so we'll crush it first. How many mortal wounds? Three, and then the pig. Ooh, still alive. These are good picks. These are good picks. They're slowed down by fast movers. Yeah. Back down to fourteen. Okay. I can't find a 14, so I'm going to stay at full. <laughs> okay. I found it. Uh, this ship gets to move D6 plus 3? No. That, you pick one or the other. Oh, you can't do yeah. both. It would be very strong if you could pick both, so you have to pick one or the other. I don't think it would be that bad if you... Okay. Sure. Well, yeah. I don't know. All right, Brandon's <laughs> going to move. We'll show you where he ends up. First ship comes on fort. I got to redeploy. I got to redeploy. Oh. Ooh. Where are you going? Oh, out of here. Spending a free command point to go uh, give this guy a... Uh, command the skies. Um, I'm allowed to re-roll runs for this phase, in this phase, and I can run and sh still shoot and charge later in the turn. Thinking, Scratch that free command to fly high. I was thinking of something. <laughs> Boom. Jumping over here. Yeah, okay. bare minimum tying the game. <clears throat> okay. Uh, shooting. Shooting. I'm going to put all my guns into the accountant here. Uh, how close are we? All guns that I have access. No, sorry. Like, I look, how, I, am I within 12 of you? Yeah, you are just within 12. You know what? Before I move, did you want to see if I can't redeploy on a 5 plus? Oh, yeah. You can stop my ability with your with your ability. Should I use a command oh, point? Oh, yes. Deploy? Right, because it was before. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm thinking about all-out defensing. Um... I'm going to all-out defense himself, and I'll send it over to him as well. But on a 5 plus, you stop it. Because I was still in 12 of you, right? No. Nope. But, boom. Okay. Uh, oh, it'll be, uh, 
Uh, geez, I guess the wizard, <laughs> them and himself, because that guy, he's no, he's, he's done. <laughs> Trying to save everybody but him. Oh no, they're too far away. They're too far away. So it will be <laughs> these three. <laughs> Which first? Uh, well, I am going to all out attack the frigate in the shooting phase. So I'm going to shoot my heavy skyhook into him. Got tunnel vision on the boss man. We got one hit. Four, three. Two wound. Six up. Not today, Brandon. Oh my. Not today. Get here. Oh no, it's five up. I lied. I all defense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's next? Garbine sitting on twos. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Wounding on threes. Uh, how many are this? Where's the AP on this? I mean, one. Uh, one goes through then. So all defense. Two damage. All right, he's down to twelve. Okay. And the navigator and his pistols. Yep. You got two shots. Threes. Yeah. All right. Uh, for this ship. Um, I might as well use the... Oh, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> you can't use it on sky vessels. Uh, okay. S heavy skyhook is going to go into these pigs. Yep. Uh, fours. Hmm. Carbines into <laughs> the wreckers. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Threes. Threes. Any rend? One rend. Six out. None of them. How much damage? Uh, two damage apiece. We're gonna kill this one and wound that. Oh, yeah. They're for three wounds apiece. You don't want any charge on us. And then we have the code right. Where's he? Is. He's in this one. <clears throat> He's back there. He's uh, threes and threes. Two shots. Any rend? One rend. Six up. How much damage? One damage. Finish him off. Nice. It's charging time. All right. So this is the charge I need to get. I need boxcars, or even this, but I might Yeah, these are options. No. No. Want to see you it? What if I rolled snake eyes, though? Because <laughs> you know I will. He's going to go after the Grunta? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brandon's going to ram him now. Rolling eight dice on a four plus is a mortal wound. No, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Pick that up. Pick that up. Roll your dice. He did. No. <laughs> no, that's what you wanted. I know, I know. He's he's gonna pile into this guy. He can complete his battle tactic. <laughs> but he chooses one thing to fight. Nothing is engaged in range, but he has to pile in still because yep. he did charge. Got within three. Trapped him in. I'm not gonna. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna pile in. I might need him to not swing, so I'm gonna stay there. <laughs> I'm not gonna pile him back. We're trapping each other. That will score you your two points, you son of a. And then he has one objective, which is also more than me. He has maximum four points for the turn. And that concludes battle round oh. four. And the game, I believe. No, you have the lead. You have the lead by two. Yep. You are winning by two. All right, who's going first in the last battle round? I win ties. It's gonna be my turn. First thing is I destroy this objective. No. They don't exist anymore. Let's All right, so the ship. No, the the admiral. No, and the code right. No. Hey. No, we take damage. I have two battle tasks left they can do. One okay. is kill all your battle line. Yeah. Or two is what I tried to do last turn, surround and destroy. No, what's it called? Surround the enemy, and I'm gonna do that one. Yeah, yeah. Part of my magic. Nope. Nope. Hurl leadership on. Pfft. No, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna use it. Cause they're gonna mighty destroyers. Hmm. I'm just gonna roll recovery again. Uh, I do. Oh, I go up to fourteen. Oh, I'll add a two there. Yo, know, do you want to do anything? Leadership. On the... Yeah. I'll tell you right now, we don't even bother. He's not going to do anything, so I'm going to end my turn. Uh, okay, we're going to go spend a command point on him. He's too far away for you to muck with, so they're going to get a Mighty Destroyer's Movement 9. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move the rest of my stuff. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to advance. Oh, I'll cast a spell. Um, 
Plus one to wound everybody nearby. No, I didn't get it. All right, he's going to advance. Two, do you want to try to stop it on a five plus? No. Sorry, I didn't know I rolled a die. The reason why I actually wanted to stop it, I want to auto advance six. Yes. You want to stop that. Yes. I don't know why I rolled a die. That's why I asked yep. you want to stop it. Yep. Actually, I guess there is no harm in trying to kill this thing. So, uh, last turn of the game, I just want to prevent you from moving around. Yep. So, I got within six of this table edge, six of this table edge, six of that table edge. Can I feel Battleshock over here? No, we're good. Oh, I could have filled in the six, actually. That would not have worked if I, if I rolled a six. <laughs> I had a command point to make it auto pass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my two points. Yep. But I'm going to charge in over here just to try to um, kill your ships. So you don't, I, don't, I don't know, I do not, I do not know what is left for you to do. Only thing left for you to score is battle tactics. So we are gonna go, if you can't score a battle tactic on your turn. You win. No, it's a tie game. And then we go to second, or oh, primary, right. or um, grand strategies. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, actually, what was your grand strategy? Uh, mine was protect the flagship. And that's this one? Yeah. So we're both gonna get ours. Yes. Uh, unless you kill both these units. Okay. So. We'll see. So it's probably, unless you can find a second a battle tactic to do, it's going to be a tie game. Uh, anyways, we're going to charge in. Do you want to do a... Uh, Unleash heck. Unleash hell, yeah. I'm in! <clears throat> okay, we will sky hook. start with the skyhook hitting on fives now. Nice. Wounding on threes. Okay, two range. Go through, how much damage? Six damage. Um, down to eight. Fours to hit. What is this? Oh. oh, the uh, clatter guns. Oh They're throwing like this on the floor. These are mine. <laughs> One hit. Two. Sorry, you I rolled my save, I failed it. Uh, anything else? Is it, right? Yeah, for shooting, yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> we're gonna just ram that shit. And because I take damage from the hook on a four plus, I can't do any hero, or sorry, monsters actions. Yep. Oh, no monsters actions. Woo. I'm gonna all out attack everything in the ship. No. You're fighting in the ship, right? The, no, I'm gonna break the ship. Oh, you're breaking the ship? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna use our fists first from our mount. All out Two's to hit. All events. And threes to wound. Give me a four minus two. Four up. Ah, uh, three damage. And twos. Oh, you're going to survive. You have to me. And threes. Give me uh, six more at minus one. So six more three up saves. Yeah. Because all of defense. Take two more damage. All right, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. You swing back. Uh, I'll start with the boarding weapons. Fours and fours. Nothing. Uh, Arcana Company? Arcana Company, uh, there's six left. Six attacks. Fours as well. Nothing. Is that it? And we have the staff from oh, the, right, the navigator. He's gonna whack you. Two attacks with a scope. Threes and fours. One, no rent. We're good. Okay. All right, and in my turn, I have to clean my uh, battle tactic for two points. It is a tie game right this moment. If Brandon can find a battle tactic to do, he will win this game. If he can't find a battle tactic to do, we tie this game, but he can try to kill my battle line. If he kills both these units, yeah. he will win because of the thing that never comes up for me, uh, <laughs> the grand strategy. Because I, uh, I had to kill this to get break the grand strategy for, for me. No, for, for him, I mean. Uh, so a minimum, you have two ways of winning right now. Two ways of winning. Can you get this done? Ah, uh, Brandon still had bait and trap <laughs> in the uh, in the pocket. Yeah. So. So these two units are going to retreat. So and because everything inside of it counts as having made the same move, technically three units are retreating. And then two are going to try to charge. Yes. Yeah, so. You're going to get within three of me, or just sorry, three of me. I'm definitely going to try to move. So I want you to see if you can cancel my uh, redeploy. 
You do. Ooh. All right. Uh, you have a three inch charge. Well, hey, I, I gotta do some. And he, well, he's here. No, he makes a charge. We we can rule it out, but we don't have to. Uh, Brandon scored. Math. Brandon scores two points. Yeah. That is a carriage on victory. Wow. Two units retreated. Two units charge because there's things inside. You, would you like the honor of whacking me to death before we end this? Uh, you got to do a little bit of a post game. I'll, I'll roll my ramming dice at least. Okay. <laughs> I have ten wounds there. Rolling eight dice on a four plus. I, okay, I have I have eight wounds left. Now yeah, we're done here. You're fine. <laughs> we won't we won't grind through. Brandon yeah. will take two victory points for completing his battle tactic and my grand strategy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, true. Um, I got my grand, I guess, technically, but it doesn't really matter. But either way, that's a carriage on victory. That's a cool scenario. That, I first time I played that one, better than I that, thought it would be. That was. It sounded really funny at the start because we were talking about how, like, oh, it's really funny, you know, we're in the realm of beasts, so, you know, things are unstable and the ground just disappears or, like, collapses on itself. So, like, yeah, that's fun. But it was a really interesting one because... I it, double turned you twice and lost. Yeah. But just because the snare, I, well, hey, but the snare is just super well written in third yes. edition. The All right, let's do this post game. Post. Well, sir, uh, let's do two things about post game. First of all, we're going to talk a little bit about the Iron Jaws, and then we're talking about what we think about Path of Glory, even though this was and wasn't Path of Glory. It's a hybrid. Um, <laughs> well, Iron Jaws. We didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see anything. We didn't see anything they could do. Uh, uh, you, you killed them. The <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So my um, group, my reckas, no, sorry, my weird, not my weird, my weird reka, whatever they're called, and my ragers, and my and ragers they never got into combat. No. Nope. Um, my Ma Grunta character technically got into combat, but you shot him to death before he swung. Yeah. And the other one was forced to fall back, so it didn't do anything. We didn't see anything. My prediction for these new Iron Drop models, they're all over. They're all too expensive in points. Yeah, they... they. I, I remember when I first seen the preview for it, I was, like, a little worried because I'm like, oh, these are, like, pretty elite. They seem pretty elite. Their melee seems really good. But looking at the points value now, I don't think they're worth that much. They could be lowered a little bit. Yeah, uh, it was 380 for that first one you killed before you even Yeah, swung. like, I don't know. Maybe if he actually got into combat and maybe if I had more foot soldiers on the ground it'd be a little more... Well, it'd do a little more damage, but I mean, because of this army particularly, is mo not really meant to be on the ground. Like, they're meant to be in their ships, fly around, yeah. disembark to grab something. But I guess we can't say a whole lot about Iron Jaw new stuff post game. Other than that, I gotta play more. Well, because I have an, my own Iron Jaw army, I will play them more. Yeah. But of all the armies I've been looking at for Age of Sigmar, uh, they seem way over there. They seem not well point costed. I could be wrong. I'm not gonna say I'm right. I'm saying that's how my gut feels. Maybe. I'm looking at the trolls, which I got a new troll army painted yep. up in the upper box. Yep. That looks really good. Uh, my, my Stormcasts are looking really good these days. I yeah. don't know. They seem, I know the internet says they're really bad, but I like where their points are sitting. Uh, the Iron Jaw stuff, I guess I need to play around with them more, but yeah, they seem a little expensive on the points. But I think in the list that you have that is very Gore Grunta heavy, those infantry don't shine as much. Because yeah, yeah, for sure. Be, it, the army was meant, because you picked the sub-faction yeah. that favors the Gore Grunta, so maybe if you played around the sub-faction. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. Different hero composition. Now you said you wanted to take the uh, the Shaman, or the, uh, 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 the Caller. Yeah, uh, the ch War Chanter. The War Chanter. The War Chanter with those guys, that'd be pretty. Uh, dead the War Chanter's gonna have to follow around the um, the Ard Boys. They're 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 Ard the Ard Boys are very expensive in points. Yes. But they're also three up armor save base now. Um, yeah. They're two hundred something. Two hundred twenty points. Very similar stat line to Slays of Darkness, Warriors of Chaos. Yes. Except for they're slower and don't have all the other cool synergies. <laughs> so, uh, I don't want to yeah. say a supplement later, but I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 the whole Iron Jaw supplement seems over -costed. But you know what? I, you know, I, again, seems, seems. Maybe they're, after I figure out some combos and stuff, they're under-costed. Yeah, if, so that's just very early gut opi uh, yeah. opinions. All the ifs, ands, or buts. Like, it could have been very different, like I said. With the Gorgon to heavy list, who knows? If it was an infantry heavy list, they probably would have shined a lot more. Because if you had Ard Boys soaking up damage and then, you know, routing around with the Rekkas and the Ragers, like, they could have... Done so. If they fought in combat, they probably would have done pretty good, I would say. So here is um, the next conversation, Path of Glory. Yeah. Um, 
Now, granted, in that brute book, which is over there on the table, you can't really see it. Yeah. There is more expansion to Path of Glory. In oh, fact, okay. you know what? I wanted, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to take a quick skim and get back to this conversation. All right, I just wanted to skim the rules, and I did. Okay, so the uh, brute book here expands the uh, Path of Glory rules for Cities of Sigmar. Uh, the last book that came out, uh, book one of Dawnbringers, expanded on uh, the outposts. Yeah. Uh, that being said, Brandon and I have played a handful of Path of Glories together. And I think it's, at this point, lacking. So we tried it a bunch of times and realized it doesn't really do anything to our armies. It doesn't add much. There's a little bit of... Ca Glory allows you to reroll casualties too easily. Yeah. Um, characters, their casualties are almost not important whatsoever. I feel like it's almost there, but realizing after this is our fourth time doing Battle of Glory together, yeah. that we're not enjoying it. Like, not that we're not enjoying the games. The, game, the games are awesome. The, game, the games are a lot of but fun. But the Path of Glory is not adding anything... At we all. could almost just do the Our exact thing. same thing and say, hey, this match we're going to play 500 points. Or this well, match we're going to do 1,000 points. The, the, the scenarios in Age of Sigmar 3rd Edition are freaking top-notch. Yeah. Amazing. So good. The only time we have bad games is when we use a Path to Glory scenario. <laughs> the path to, the, hey. every, every Path to Glory scenario we've ever played has been so wildly imbalanced. It was stupid. Honestly, just stupid. Every... But every time we use a, a, like a General's Handbook yeah. scenario, yep. um, look at this game. Amazing games. They go to turn five if we don't use a Path of Glory scenario. Yeah, even our last game, I know not everyone might have watched it, but the previous game we did was also part of the new General's Handbook, and that game was awesome. Like, very close game, just like this one. Incredibly you know, close. You know what? For, I'm going to give a minor spoiler for the last game because it applies to what you're about to say. So jump ahead 10 seconds if you want to hear this. Our last game, uh, one of us won by one point at the bottom of turn five. That's because yeah. we used the knocked Path of Glory scenario. Yep. Whereas other ones we've had, like Steve said, it's just been so inconsistently imbalanced. And I I don't want to say I get that narrative stuff is supposed, supposed to be, be the matter. But whatever. they were wildly imbalanced. It's like playing an RTS game and like the campaigns aren't so imbalanced that the, you know, if the computer doesn't have any chance. I don't know. It just seems, why are they so favored to the faction that's for? Like, because I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say that... Before we decided to play this one, oh, well, I have a Path of Glory mission in my book for Karajan. But I was thinking, well, yeah, but it's probably just going to be a huge favor to me. Like, I'm not going to... It's just going to be so one-sided for my faction. Yeah, the, so I think I think to sum up what we're saying, I think most people might already agree with me, but to sum up, I think they'll really understand. Path of Glory scenarios just don't work for a YouTube battle report. That's yeah. what that's the way it comes down to. I think that's, yeah, we're not trying to say, like, you should never play them. Yeah, exactly. They're really good, I think, if you have consistent game schedule where you play with friends consistently. If you have a group of friends that you play with on a weekly or monthly basis, whatever, uh, yeah, it'd probably be a lot of fun because you're getting the slow growth. Because we, one thing we were complaining about, we're just like, what is the point of these territories? We never have enough Yes, we, we can never, we, exactly. We always... And we always want to keep upping the ante of amount of units and that kind of stuff. So the territories for us, we never do the searches because we're always just getting by with the amount of glory we need to up our ant, like up our army. So it's definitely... That and you end up bleeding glory because you get to reroll yes. everything for casualties and injuries. <laughs> reroll that stuff. So it makes me think like the way we are progressively going up in Path of Glory doesn't make sense because it probably should take triple the amount of time. And yeah, unless we had... A full thought out narrative instead of the, our narrative being like for us was like we're settling an old grudge. That's not really that's the <laughs> yeah probably the contract. Yeah, it was a <laughs> that's where the account kind of, yeah yeah. <laughs> that's where the whole idea for the account game, but it doesn't make sense narratively when we don't keep building on the story. Like there was right. no, it was just like oh well I won this one so I get that thing. It didn't really make sense going forward. But if we were if we said hey we're gonna play ten games or we're gonna keep playing this path to glory, we don't know when it's gonna end. Um, cause I don't know, like some people like watching the big matches like this, but some people might like the smaller ones. So yeah, like for battle reports, it maybe doesn't make the most sense. I'm just thinking I need, um, Path of Glory isn't quite it. Um, it's, yeah. uh, it, it doesn't lend well to slow grow. It doesn't lend well. I don't know. It doesn't. Look, it doesn't. It just not. I don't think it's. Just, I. You know what? I loved it at first. After playing four of them, five of them, I'm like, ah, I don't like it. So what I'm saying, what, the reason why we're talking about it is, yeah. there's, there's other people who have the same problem as us. That means somebody out there has a campaign system that we can follow through, <laughs> or a, a version of old path, old path of glory, Brandon, before your time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you would roll uh, on a chart. 
you, you pick a hero, and then you would roll on a chart for what random units you had to add to your army. See, so you have, to, cool. you have to go and buy them and paint them up and, yep. and play them next week. And then at the end of the game, you roll again and you get a random unit. That's how it used to be. That that part of it, it's gone. Uh, I can understand. I understand why that's gone. I guess you want to choose what you want to buy. I love building armies with old Path of Glory, where I didn't pick what I was going to buy. I would roll them up, and that's how I start an army. I mean, that would be even cool if we brought this forward because I mean, we both have quite a slight like. Carajan has like whatever a smaller selection of units, but if I did Stormcast or whatever faction like you want to play as, in the future if we decided to do that route where like this is the general, this is their path to glory. Okay, I'm gonna roll to see what units I'm adding from a roster of units. Yeah, like I have. I miss that. I want to say I'm pretty sure I have one of each model in the range for Carajan. So for me, I could do that. Um, I know for some people like it. Some people like just. They want to walk in with their 500 points to play the game. I think that's exactly what the, the changes the current path. I think yeah. that's why they move that way. I'm not. I'm not going to criticize that. No, I no. get that. Yeah. But it's not working for us. Um, the way you search for territories, the way casualties work. Yeah. So I'm wondering if there's another somebody out there who, who's still watching this <laughs> has a homebrew <laughs> system that we can steal, or if you know a website, because like I'm over the years, there have been plenty of old games that would have their own. Um, Campaign systems people put on websites. Yeah. So is there a is there an Age of Sigmar group out there who has written their own their own version of Slow Grow slash Path to Glory that we can steal? Send us a link uh, in the comments below. That would be amazing. I'd be. If you want to keep doing these, try it. but Give honestly, it like playing another Path to Glory with the current rules, like I'd rather just play a bunch of games. But I'd rather write our own thing. Because like one thing that I because for me like this was my longest stretch of playing Karajan in third edition. So I was learning so much about the army while I was playing, and I get that's the point of Path to Glory, in a sense. But then I get to match three, and I'm like, you know, I really don't like these sub faction stuff. It doesn't really mesh well yeah. with my list. So, but then you're stuck because you're not supposed to switch, switch your sub faction. You can't switch out your artifacts or your command traits, so... So we're not getting the best of Sigmar 3rd edition, yeah. and we're not really getting the best of Path of Glory. It doesn't feel good when you have locked in on a poor choice because you've never actually used it in battle, so... Well, that's the thing too, right? Like, um, I shouldn't complain because I did very well in today's game, but like, I now played four games in a row with Iron Jaws without a War Chanta. That's dumb. By end of game one, you're probably just like, wow, I wish I had a war <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, why didn't I do that right away? yeah, if you make a 2,000-point list or whatever, and then you're like, wow, you know, this unit well, underperformed. And it's like, oh, Steve, it, you could just add a war chanter. Well, here, guess what, guys? Um, <laughs> we were we planned on doing this uh, Path to Glory. Uh, we were doing this before Games Workshop sent anything. So in episode two, we showed off the Harbinger boxes. Yes. Like, okay, we'll, we'll just add these to our next collection. That that took away my option to add a War Chanter. And then, um, we, uh, sneak yeah. peek, this wasn't supposed to go out yet, but then I got the new Iron Jaw stuff, like, ah, dang it. It worked Not, out. <laughs> no, no, but I, 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 I timed up everything so that, because yes. yeah. I'll tell you right now, guys, um, the, the day episode four here of this Path of Glory is going out, we were actually filming this the day before, because yeah. we had booked this game three weeks ago. <laughs> And three, and it's a whole long story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but I, I, that's the thing. It's just like, yeah, you weren't a huge fan of the way the the goblin. Uh, I did not like the rubber roses. They at didn't all. really work well with this list. The fire slayer list for me worked out really well. It did work out well, yeah. It worked out really well, but at the same time, that's five hundred and forty points. It would have been fun to invest as other carriage and like more more gun like more gunships. No. More, you know, I thunders. Really, I really like no yeah, yeah, more thunders. Uh, an ironclad. That's that's just no. an ironclad. Or the sky wardens. I really like the jetpack guys. Uh, more heroes. Like having. I guess you know what I had no war changers. You know you you had yeah. three less guns. So we both too. had similar worked, issues. Okay, hindsight, that part worked well for us. Yes. Okay, that was pretty honest. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we're saying. We enjoy the hell out of this. Oh. Um, and we want to keep doing it, but I guess not in its current iteration. So worst case scenario, we'll just make up our own system if nobody has anything. Make up our own, with. or just do regular, like, third edition bat reps, because, man, it's just so much fun. And we'll play plenty more. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all in the next one. Once again, Games Workshop, thank you for all the new thank armies. Thank you. Happy Wargaming. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. There will be plenty more to watch upcoming and plenty more already on the channel to watch if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's really helpful for the channel. Comment below. Engage with Algorithmo. Helps with the channel a whole bunch. And think about joining the channel. There is a join button right next to the subscribe button. So I know you already clicked that button. 
Uh, learn about everything you get from becoming a channel member, access to Discord and a bunch of other extra videos. We're going to think of uh, some people over here scrolling by. These are the Rock Jocks and Peak Supporters. They're higher tier channel members that uh, they do a lot to help this channel keep it going. Can't do without each and every one of these people over here. Super appreciate them all. See you in the next one, guys. Happy Wargaming.